Hey, this is Commander Bacon with His Way Homestead, and it's a Saturday, and I've got my Liberty, 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 Liberty overalls on. So that can only mean one thing, it's a work day. Stay tuned. All right, so we got another big project. It's actually a continuation of the other project. So we're gonna put chain link fence. Hey, honey, how are you? We're gonna put chain link fence from that corner of the building or the house to this corner of the building. So we've got it all, all kind of laid out. I mean, the, the hardest part of any project is making the plans. So uh, we've got the string, there's the gate. Uh, you can see the string goes up there and you might be able to see it, I don't know. I don't know, we got a lot to do. So then it goes, it goes straight from the house. Does make you dizzy yet? Straight from the house, that corner, that corner of the house. So it gets to the gate right here. And then it's, it angles off to the building. And then the other part of this chain link fence project is, <laughs> I can't even see it. Over, over there tying in our neighbor's chain link to our house. And that pretty much, once we get the other fence in, that will completely fence in our yard and keep our chickens from roaming the neighborhood when we want to free range them. Uh, we lost two chickens this year from, they just wandered off. We don't know what happened to them. So that's our project today. Don't know if I'm gonna bore you with a lot of the details. Might take a little pictures and, and this and that. Uh, it's really hot. You can see I'm already sweating. But uh, we got a lot of work to do. Don't have a whole lot of time to film it. All right, so it took forever to dig that first hole because our ground is like a rock, but we got the first post set in quickrete. So that is a gate post. There'll be another gate post there. And that double gate right there that you see right there, that's gonna go there. So. Next thing I'm working on right now, because we're trying to rent an auger, I'm working on digging that hole for that termination post right there up against the building. So that should be a lot of fun. Okay, here's a little update on our progress. This pole is in the ground with sackcrete, quickcrete, whatever kind of crete you want to talk about. Um, this pole is in the ground with quickcrete over there, that pole is in the ground with quick creep. We still have to dig the hole, well, not there. Not there, silly. Here, right there. Dig a hole right there for that pole. And we had to rent an auger because our ground is hard and it was miserable and we didn't want to take all day just digging holes by hand. <clears throat> so then on this side of the house, we got that pole, that pole in the ground with quick creep. And we got this hole dug. It's probably a little bit in the wrong spot because we bought a, oh, sorry. We bought a gate kit and uh, it said it was a 72 inch gate kit and I was thinking that the gate was 72 inches but no, it was between the poles 72 inches. So I'm about seven inches too wide in my holes. So we'll have to figure that out. Not a biggie. So then we got this hole up against the house to dig out. And way, way down yonder, uh, we got two more holes dug. And um, we'll have to put side creep in that, quick creep, whatever, whatever, some kind of creep. And uh, that's kind of where we're at right now. But it's been really hot and just exhausted. It just, the heat really took it out of me today. Anyway, that's kind of where we're at. We're gonna keep working. I uh, gotta finish assembling these gates. 
um, and then we'll uh, hopefully get more post uh, in the ground and that will be good because then we can start um, hanging fence maybe tomorrow all right so we worked a little bit more and we got these two posts set these are gate posts and there's the gate so uh, our neighbor is a great neighbor with this pond here and he lets us take our ducks over to his pond and let them swim so we needed a gate to access his property so um, from, from the high tensile field fence post there to the corner of his gate, and that's our big grapevine on it, which is awesome looking. It's just not producing grapes this year because the frost got it. But uh, we're hot and nasty, dirty, sweaty, and we smell pretty bad. <laughs> Good thing you don't have smell of vision but we're cleaning up. Uh, there's quick creep and all the post holes that we could do. We still have two more posts. Um, and they're both up against the foundation of the house. Not sure how we're gonna do that yet. So it'll be interesting to figure it out. So that's all we got done today, which we got a lot done today. Uh, tomorrow we'll start hanging gates and in some places we'll string some fence. So we'll, um, I'm not going to say see you next time because I'm going to keep going on with this video. We'll see you tomorrow. We'll, yeah, we'll see you in just a few seconds. <laughs> see ya. All right, we're back out in the yard. It's still kind of, we had a storm come through last night. It's kind of muggy now. Uh, it cooled off a little bit, but it's kind of steamy. So right now what we're doing is, I don't know if you can see it. The sun's kind of blinding you. Let me get around here. Okay, so we're driving in our line post here and here so that we can install our fence, which we have kind of just hanging off. We attached it to that corner. And we have, we have the uh, post, the gate post set there and there. So we're trying to put in a fence, just a little section of chain link to see if we can do it. But well, we're trying. So here's what we got done today. We got that section of chain link complete done finished and it was a challenge because of that slope but we did get it done it was our first chain link fence installation experience and it was some parts of it was quite a challenge but for the most part we got her done so um, we still got a lot more work to do we did get the, uh, the double gates installed um, we do have the gates kind of propped up because it rained really bad and the ground's pretty soft and I just didn't want uh, the poles to get pulled in a little bit until we had tension on the chain link. So there's the gates, it's getting there. So now we gotta make another run, to make sure we got all the hardware that we need. Yay. And uh, we're just gonna kick, kick it back at notch and just have a good time. There's my bride. We're gonna go, go see a movie. All right, so we're still working on the chain link fence and here's a little helpful hint for you when you have to shorten a piece of chain link. So right here, uh, we've got all this, all this going out this way. We're putting in this section and we only need it to go right to here, okay? So when you take this piece, it's got a loop just like this one. You see that loop? So you take this, loop and bend it up and then at the bottom you'll take the loop and bend it down and you're mimicking the pattern with the chain link okay once you have that then it's just a matter of untwisting and i can't do it <laughs> there we go I just wasn't pulling up high enough. Ugh. Hard to do one handed, but once you get it so far, you're just twisting it and pulling up. Twist it, pull up. 
just keep going. So this piece of chain link is out of your fence. And that's how you do that. Here's another little tip. I didn't have a, a stretcher bar. So all it took was I had some uh, ratchet straps that didn't have the hooks on it. It was just a loop ratchet strap. So I put another tension bar about a foot, foot and a half away from the end and uh, pulled the tension on it. And then you put the other tension bar in there and you'll just bolt it up. So this draws your tension. You put two in, uh, it's easier with two because a four foot fence requires three tension straps and uh, it's just easy to avoid them that way if you just have two. So that's a, another chain link tip for you. So are we professional fence builders? You might be now. <laughs> no. Have we ever built a chain link fence before? No, not before. Probably not after if we have anything to do with it. But uh, here we go. There's our chain link fence. We've got a gate that we had to put together. It's on a slope, which was not fun. And it ties into the neighbor's fence. So we have one continuous chain link fence now. You can see all of that. We didn't destroy the neighbor's fence. We're still friends. So all that's good. Uh, we just have a little cleanup to do. Uh, this is the one side of the house, the one corner, and this will help us to be able to keep our chickens in the yard when we free range them. So let's go take a look at the other major fence. So here's the other portion of chain link fence that goes to the building. From the corner of the building, we've got a double wide gate to drive truck through, literally and then it goes to the corner of the house. So that totally encloses this portion of the yard. So um, that was like 170 feet, something like that, maybe. Uh, I don't know, I don't know how much it was, but uh, uh, the double gate uh, we got used uh, for a steal, not literally, but uh, we didn't pay anything. So that's a good deal. Uh, we got some miscellaneous little parts uh, for free, uh, but the bulk of it we had to pay for. We had we got did have some chain link fence that we got for free, some small portions of it. Um, but what did we get a quote for for all this? Uh, it was about thirty five hundred dollars. Thirty five hundred, mm -hmm. and we might have a thousand in it, so we saved twenty five hundred dollars. So that's pretty cool. That's like making money, making money. If you don't spend it, you made it. So um, here's something I want, want to encourage everybody. Um, we never did chain link fence before. We didn't know what we were doing, but we did a lot of research first. Uh, we made, we looked it up, a lot of different sources, watched a lot of YouTube videos. Um, we are not experts in chain link fence. That's why I didn't show a lot of how we installed it because there's plenty of YouTube videos out there of people showing you exactly how to install it and they're but much better qualified to show you than I am. I just wanted to show you our progress and what we did. And I, you know, we did pretty good. It's actually pretty easy. Yeah, it's not that hard. It's uh, making sure you get your, your uh, end, your terminal post in concrete really good. Uh, driving in your line post, you can drive them straight in the ground. They don't require concrete. Uh, getting your fence stretched properly and uh, tying it to the poles. So it's really, it's not that bad. I encourage everybody to try something new and do something. Don't pay people to do things that you probably can do, right? You, you can do more than what you think you can. Do a little research, look at, at, look at it. Um, it, putting in chain link fence is not rocket science by no means uh, like I said we didn't even have an appropriate stretcher uh, just I tried it with the uh, ratchet straps and it worked all you got to do is put tension on it and then have enough tension on it that you can put your tension uh, straps to the tension bar that's it that's all it takes 
So, are you happy? This is a project we've been working on or wanting for a long time to enclose our yard. Uh, this will help keep uh, chickens in and predators out. Yeah, unwanted critters, unwanted critters out of our yard. Uh, it'll help us another layer of defense to keep our animals safe uh, and also allow us to be able to let our chickens free range because we had problems with two ISA browns that we got free. I don't know if you remember that video. We had uh, free chickens and they were layers already um, and they like to wander. Um, we found one of our neighbors two doors down that way called us up and said, hey, is this your chicken on my on my uh, freezer, freezer on his carport <laughs> probably is ours so sure enough we went down there and it was roosted on his carport on the freezer on the carport but we had to go the other direction uh, a couple times and they left they and they never came back and we couldn't find them so that was also about the time that we had uh, owls attacking our young chickens too so you know, could have been dogs in the neighborhood, could have been anything. So uh, this is our, this will help. This will help keep our animals safe. And that's um, responsible animal owners need to keep your animals safe. And dog owners need to be responsible and keep your dogs in your yard. <laughs> that's all I got to say about that. So you're happy. It's hot. It's not as hot as it has been, um, but it is is kind of humid right now we had raining drizzle on and off and it's kind of humid and i'm getting tired of holding my arm up here so what we're going to do is we're going to say until next time don't forget his way is the best way god bless and we'll see you later